way back. The streaming software just crashed. Uh, I won't say which streaming software I'm using. <laughs> no, don't do that. Let's, let's move on. Um, I'm really angry, but <laughs> I'm sure I can get over it. Um, please, uh, if anyone's still watching, uh, could you just see if there's, uh, um, if you could just do a sound check, make sure we're, we're working again as intended. I believe we are. Um, and we've got, oh, we've lost half of our viewership. <laughs> That's because everything's been kicked off. What a tragedy. Uh, so I'm just waiting to see that we come back up. Uh, it still says stream starting soon. Frank, would you mind just um, uh, messaging the WhatsApp groups and just saying, stream down, it should be back up now. Sure. Sorry about that to anyone that was watching. Sometimes, uh, I guess, things happen. Um, let's see if we can... get moving. Uh, and just so stream offline. Saying Frank, we uh, <sighs> we live again. I've still got, it says stream offline. Do we have All right, we are back up. We're back. We are back. All right. Sorry again to anyone that was watching. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't think it was... Is it a different URL now, or the same URL? Should just be the same URL. I'm just trying to refresh this just to see what's happening here. Um, let's just <coughs> check one more time here. It might be a new URL. What did I sit on? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What did Frank sit on? Yeah. Uh, right, okay. So I think we're up and running again. Uh, my apologies. Gremlins. The, yeah, the software just, the software of the streaming software just crashed. So, right, so we need to get our caller on to here, Frank. So, uh, yeah. what we'll have is there'll be a, um, some mounting brackets here. So, we just need to figure out which ones are ours. Which, yes. There is a manual, but can, is it something that we can eyeball? <laughs> is there a significant difference? Yes, well, it's, it's not those. Okay. So it's these. You know what? We're, uh, because you're going to be building this, I, re I would recommend that you have a look at the manual. Yes. Okay. Um, All right. Is it this bit here? No. Mm -hmm. Have a little look. But um, we should have some, there'll be some standoffs that we put on top of those. And then we'll put some, and then these, these little brackets will just kind of go on here. Oh, I see. And then... Uh, Right, so we know that it's these brackets, is that correct? Well, I believe mm. so. <laughs> ah, yes. So these are AMD. Yeah, you got it. These are Intel. And we're putting an AMD processor in today. So that is all good. Oh, which it will automatically connect. No, it's not automatically connecting, is it? This one. Yo, ah. <laughs> God damn it. Right. Uh, let's just get rid of that 
and try and add it back in. Interesting. Okay, chapter two, Intel installation. So we skip that. And we go on to AMD installation. All right. We we may be fully up and running I, again. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Oh, you know what? I've just seen. Have you seen this bank? Look. So down in the. So I'm looking at um, YouTube. And down at the subscriptions page, huh. it puts whoever's live to the top and does a little live signal. That's fun. That's that's both new and great. I love that. <laughs> um, still got something going on here. Right. Uh, sorry for the last few minutes. Um, it's. Uh, it's, it's a bit distracting when things go wrong technically and it's really annoying as well so I'm sorry about that. Huh? Okay. Ah, all right, so that's interesting. So AM, so this funny double shaped hole here. Yep. One of them is for AM2, 2 plus, 3, 3 plus, FM1, FM2 and FM2 plus. And then the, just the other one is for M4. Yeah. So that's what we yeah. want, isn't it? So what we need <coughs> to find out is, uh, do we put some spaces there first? What goes first? So it says, uh, step one, try not to sing the lyrics to one of your favorite songs. Um, insert the position screws to corresponding holes of AMD brackets, fixing them with nuts. That's nuts. That is nuts. So, fixing screws. Oh, I was telling you to fix them to the uh, cooler first. Yeah, step two, secure AMD brackets to cooler with bracket screws. All right, you I know what I'm going to do? These small ones. What's I'm that? I'm going to go handheld, Frank. All right, okay. Uh, That's exciting. You live and learn. All right. Can you just have a little look at that monitor, Frank? Are we still cooking? Yeah, we're still on. We're still on. All is good. So okay. now it's AM4. Yep, you get a nice close up view of me reading the instruction manual. So, um, are, we, are we still good, Frank? We're, we're still. We're still good. Still, still on the still, still on the screen. Excellent. So, Frank's just figuring out the mounting bracketry here. So usually you have to put the standoffs on the motherboard, but it looks like this is the other way around. Now I've never used this cooler. I do know John's though. They've just started making, uh, or I say just started, maybe about a year ago they brought out really nice little ITX case called the N1. Uh, I'm really excited to have a look at that. I'm going to try and see if I can build them as, as soon as possible, but I, I really like the look of that one. Um, but I've never used any of their coolers. Uh, we bought this hoping it would be fine. So <laughs> let's hope it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we have no reason to believe otherwise. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, and you know what? If it's not, we'll just we'll just replace it with something a bit better, yeah? That sounds just fine. So what are you doing there, Frank? So I am inserting the position screws to the corresponding holes of the AMD brackets. And apparently the next stage is to now secure the brackets to the cooler with the bracket screws. Which okay. looks like they go like this. Uh, you get your LTT screwdriver. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's going to be small enough, you know. That's what she said. <laughs> it's definitely not going to be those screws, is it? <clears throat> you don't, sorry, you don't know if what's going to be small enough. 
the driver head. Oh, well, this is the great thing about the LTC screwdriver thing. Turn oh, it upside wait, down wait and pull. Huh. It's amazing. That's what we're going to want. Just, um, if you wouldn't mind, Frank, just, you know, having a look at the screen every now and then, just to make sure everything's okay. Yeah. Uh, and that we're sure still, we're still, still screen, live. We're still live. Uh, and if there's any questions, you should be able to see them down in the chat there. Yeah, we are good on questions at the moment. Okay. Who are you watching? Cool. Okay. This, this tiny screwdriver head I'm appreciating right now. It's nice, isn't it? Again, yeah, it is actually a different link. That's very annoying. Huh. So don't forget to talk us through what you're doing, Frank. Right. So right now I am securing the brackets to the cooler and trying really hard not to cross thread these screws, which are really small. I don't think I'm doing a good job right now. I don't think you're doing. I think you look like you're doing just a fine job, Frank. Okay. Frank. Yeah, I think I probably could find a better head for this. Let's see. Better head, Frank says. Yeah. Probably not the first time he said that. Yeah. It is a couple stream after all. <laughs> Let's try this one. I think so. I think maybe I'm asking a bit too much of it. I'm expecting it to sort of go quite flush, but yeah. perhaps that's not the way this thing rolls. That looks like it's fine, Frank. Okay. Well, you're the build supervisor. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Grand. Okay. I'll have a look at step two while you're doing this. Yes, this is step two, I believe. Oh, this is step two, okay. Uh, step three is, um, Cause, because Latin for generosity. Some kind of, <coughs> is it, have we got a big plastic thing? I did not see one. Big plastic, step three, big plastic thing that goes in between the on top of the motherboard that does not look right i don't think we need that uh, i'm i'm just going to call foul on that on that uh, um, on that instruction there because i think what we do is we just put those screws straight into the motherboard uh, standoffs into the socket standoffs so these these holes here yeah Let me have a look, if you don't mind. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, paste, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what, Frank, we're just gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm taking this protective label off now. Yeah. Do you wanna get some, uh, let me see what else we've got here. We've got, uh, <coughs> let me just un unbag those. Yeah, so these are the, and then, let's get some nuts here. Are you sure this is correct? This doesn't seem right to me. So there is another set of screws. Secure AMD bracket to the cooler with the bracket screws. Yeah, okay, we've done that. Um, remove the plastic, oh, that's remove the plastic retainers. Yeah, gotcha. Remove the protection film. Yeah, apply thermal paste. 
The line of CPU mounting cooler or holes on the motherboard with a screw position snap. Okay, fine. Right, so we need to kind of go a little bit upside down. Right, uh, so I need to put the thermal paste on the CPU. If, uh, if, if these go into those holes, mm. and I'm sure you'll see what I mean when I, when I say this, Frank. If these go into the, into the holes here, then what goes through... Those are meant to screw in, right? You see those? Yeah, those... those you can't mm. screw those. No, no, I agree. <sighs> the line CPU cooler mounting holes of motherboard with positioning screws snap it back onto the cooler and insert the washers. Oh, okay. Okay, right. Uh, no, that still makes no sense. So, those things. Oh. When it says snap it back onto the cooler, is this is part no, of this removable? No, take the, 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 the thing off. Interesting. So look, we have this here, right? And we do have screws that go through here. So I'm just mm. testing where those the screws are. The theory being. I'm going to take those screws out. saying these go through well they, I think they're saying they go through from the back right from from this side but that just isn't the case this is wrong these instructions are just wrong unless Unless we're just, it's telling us just not to use this. Okay, all right. I think I've got it. I think I've got it, Frank. Okay. No, no, we're just not using this. All right. Yeah, so uh, this <coughs> goes on. I'm so used to building on modern platforms. Uh, so this goes through there, and then these screws go through. Like, okay, right, I've got it. But what do they screw into? Right, so turn this sucker upside down. This one. Put this, sorry, put this here. Put those holes through. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Put those on the back. Those on the back. Yeah. And then. Those, those don't go into the nuts. Easy. This is used for tightening the, the bolts, the hex socket. So where do these go? Oh, these they are probably could be the Intel the, fixings. Those are just for Intel Perhaps. fixings, I imagine. Let's have a look. Intel's on the other side. <coughs> screws, position screws, position screws, 1700. So we should have. Right, so these ones with the funky sideways things, these are definitely 1700, so we don't need those. Yeah. So that's the this is the AMD installation. So this is the stage that we're on. This I'm this I'm not. No, we've taken that out. That's no. the um, that's the retainer, the AMD retainer. We've got that. Uh, and it says take the plate off. Yeah, so we don't need the plate. Right, I got you now. So, so but those yeah, look, <coughs> those, those holes, these screws mm. go through the motherboard, and, and then they're screwed on. They just they just we yeah. put those on there and we. Them in. All right, so thermal paste on the CPU time then. Yeah. Any advice on a pattern? Do we do we do a pattern? How are we looking? We're, we're good. We're good. I still have a picture. Excellent. Uh, just do. Um, well, you've got a spreader here actually. So. All right. See that? So just put a globule in the middle. Just a big old blob in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Really? Like a pea. Just like a pea. Yeah, right. and then just use the spreader. Okay. Oops. All right. 
the more you know. So if you didn't have a spreader, I would suggest doing like a thin X or maybe a blob in the middle and then a small, a big blob in the middle and then four small blobs on the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've got a spreader, which uh, is always nice to have, you can just spread it across the whole thing. Okay. And we're going, it's, it's, it's ed edge to edge, edge is to what edge we need. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And if you need to add a bit more, just go ahead. But I think you shouldn't need to. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting in my own way here. Spreading techers, Frank. <coughs> techers. Love it. Can't wait to get that paste on here apart from the IHS, yeah. which is the top three. <laughs> You're doing a great job. That's that's reassuring. Go. Just like right, just get that little corner uh, down your bottom left. Cool. Right. Hopefully. So. There we go. The way we're going to do this. Just, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Right there. So we're going to put the cooler onto the mug, onto the. Is box, there a particular al down. alignment we need to think about for the cable? Side, sideways. Oh. Uh, it's either going to go. Cable wants to go. This uh, this way or this way. So the. The thing is there. Right. So what we're looking for is, uh, well, it has a certain. We want it to go like this. That's how it's going to sit. So, uh, so then we, yeah, like. Yeah. This. All right. We got it. That's it. So get it through the holes. Okay. Right. right. I guess we've got some screws that go on there then. Yeah, these 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 nuts. These nuts. Doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, a lot of extra thread in these in these screws. No. And you know what? To be honest, I'm not particularly thrilled or impressed with this cooler. Is uh, there is there anything that is ensuring it's it's um, aligned with the the CPU correctly? Uh, aligned, well, I mean, yeah, the, the screws that are going through. So, here you go. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, oh, you use that one here to that's expose clever. The, Try and do it just a little bit. Corner by corner. So, here, 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 here. Okay. So, just a couple of turns for each side. That's it. Then go to the next one. Very good. That's it. That does feel. Yeah, this, this is quite an old fashioned mounting mechanism. Uh, which is not a surprise because AM4 came out a long time ago. I think this cooler is probably as much as five years old. Oh wow! Um, just make sure they're tight, but so they need to be more than finger tight. Mm, okay. Um, but you you don't want to over tighten. Yeah, that does feel good actually. Yeah. So, yeah. So as I was saying, it's an old cooler, I believe. Uh, it's quite an old uh, mounting mechanism. Modern coolers have much better mounting mounting mechanisms. I'm much happier about using the more modern ones. They're, 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 they allow for a, a better uh, and more uh, even spread of pressure. Okay, so that's, that's here good. It, 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 yeah, are you happy? You, you got them kind of like you know relatively evenly torqued. Yeah, I feel pretty pleased with that. I'll just give it one last check. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we've got a question in the chat from Ian. He says, will all your builds be on video and what sort of lead time are you looking at once everything is fully up and running? It's a great question, Ian. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I would say at the beginning, yes, all of our builds will be, on, uh, will be live streamed. We will be streaming at least that's one bad. a day probably more uh, when we get busier uh, and you know I, I will be um, building more PCs uh, not having the time to be able to live stream all of them but I will attempt to do so 
Uh, probably when we get some uh, more staff in, you know, to bring on some people to do some builds, um, we'll we'll definitely continue to uh, to stream. So the the whole premise of the streaming is so that buyers can have, a, I guess, an interactive experience. So we will definitely. You've still got the the the, the I've still thing, got the thing on there, haven't I? Um, we'll definitely have at least one live uh, stream a day once we're building at least one PC a day. That's the plan. Uh, and what was the rest of the question? And what sort of lead time are you looking at? Oh, lead time. So um, essentially, we're going to have two types of PC, right? Um, so we're going to have the stocked PC uh, that are already built. They're ready to go. They're literally going to sit on a shelf and they will be uh, just next day delivered. Um, uh, delivery is free of charge for all PCs, by the way. But those PCs will be uh, delivered next day. Uh, if we're doing a custom build, which is what we're doing here, for instance, uh, we're, we're looking at probably two or three days for delivery. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll need a day to get all of the uh, components in. Just throw the, the stuff you don't need on the floor, Frank. Sure. We need a day to get the components in. Uh, we'll need a day to build and then probably a day to, for, the, for the shipping. Um, but I'd say worst case three days, but sometimes, you know, if things align, like deliveries come early, then uh, we'll be able to... Uh, in two days, but two to three days to answer your question. Thanks, Ian. I suspect longer if I was left to my own devices. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Right, what's the next step? You tell me, Frank. Uh, Ram, the PC builder. Should we go with Ram? Let's put some Ram in. All right. So, what have we got there? Talk us through it, Frank. So, there we go. We've got our six. Uh, Two times 16 gigabyte Corsair Vengeance uh, white finish RAM with a very nice shiny label there. Right, get those uh, suckers out. Let's have a little look. These things look beefy. They look nice, don't they? They look, it's, yeah. Can we I'm, get a little uh, flash of the camera? I'm getting. Of the RAM, Frank. <laughs> I'm getting chappy vibes from these things. This is, I think this is metal construction, the shielding. Can we, can we get a little flash of the camera? Very nice. I like those. And a little look at the top for the RGB. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, that's a nice long RGB strip. Okay, so do you know how to uh, to get these inserted? If you wouldn't mind coming back this way, Frank. Should we so go we back this see. way? Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, so we want to put the... First of all, we want to put these down, don't we? Should be done already. Should yeah. be done already. So what we're looking for is there's a notch. We need to make sure that the notch lines up. Sorry, the notch there lines up with the notch on the motherboard, okay? Yeah. And that's okay. literally it. I want to do the inside one first. Yeah, the inside one first. Okay. And then we just push. Push until click. There oh, we go. That was quite satisfying. That should be a satisfying click on both sides of the RAM. Yeah. Where they lock in. Wow, so the clearance on that is so slight, so, yeah. so close. Love it. That's it. That should be the correct way again. Nice one. Get those in. So it's that very nice. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. Well, done, well, I'm glad that was less of a, an epic battle than the, the CPU cooler. Uh, right. What we need to do now is probably just stick the storage, uh, the M.2 in. So M.2. Right. You'll need to get your smallest um, bit out Sm again. Smallest bit. There we go. Frank's smallest bit is his only bit. <laughs> Brilliant. We're um, here all week. It's it's almost eight o'clock. That's past the watershed, isn't it? It's nine. Oh damn it! <laughs> it's all good. I think it's good. So what are you doing there, Frank? Um, I am what I believe I'm doing is I'm <laughs> removing the um, the M.2 uh, NVMe shield, uh, which feels quite like a hefty beast, actually. Yeah, so it's, wow. it's it's not so much a shield; it's more of a heat sink. So it's ah. designed to dissipate the heat from the from the uh, the the drive. It's a very fine, finely machined thing. So what we should have in here, if we could just turn this around again, Frank. Thank you. So you should have one more thing now that you need to remove. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Great. And then I'll just help you then pull in this up. Great right. construction on the old um, so. screwdriver there. I like the magnetic bits very much. Excellent. Yeah, you can just yeah. I think you can just lift that. 
Don't want to snap the M.2 in half. It's like the Incredible Hulk. Just, just imagine that's a telephone book. <laughs> Brilliant. OK. Never seen such displays of manly hope. Sorry, that that doesn't get a bit distracted. Right, so uh, that plugs into the end there. Just there, like that? Just there, like that, yeah. Is that correct? Or should I be in this metal bit above? Well, there is a metal thing that you need to... Ah, do I need to lift that? Mm, no. So, it should, yeah, where you had it, I think, was correct. Oh, yes, Not there it is. Thing. That feels better. Yeah. And then... And then you've always got a little bit of a spring in it. Did that come... Was that the one? Yeah, that was the one in there. Oh, but no, hang on. We've got the, the top to put on. Oh, yes. So... Right. Take that off. Ah. That's an easy thing to miss. So this is one of the features that you get from slightly better motherboards, right? So from the, the Aorus motherboard. If you went for a lower quality one, you wouldn't get this, these kind of, this level of heat sink. And, uh, that's it. No, that's it. That's right. Yep. So now you just put that screw in there. I don't feel like the screw is long enough. Mm, mm. Right. So I think what happens is the screw goes on. Right. Put, oh, you know what? Oops. Put that back on, sorry, sorry. I don't think we're gonna need the screw. So get that back in. Just take the plate off the M.2 again. Take the plate off. Yeah, take the whole thing off. Remove the whole thing. Take the, remove, separate them, that's it. Put the M.2 back in. That's it, right, now put the heat sink back on. To, uh, can on, I do I screw the M.2 first? Yeah, go on. Yeah? Yeah. That's it. Right. Now, let's, let's sort that in. And it should just sit on top. Now, hopefully, when we put this thing back on, mm. will it just sit in place nicely? Does just sort of sit. We'll find so out. We should have some further screw holes held down the bottom here. Yeah. So it should just drop in. That's one. That's two. Finding their way. Is good. Is that doing anything? Yeah, that's, on, that's on its way. Also on its way, so let's just make that. Doesn't need to be super duper tight. Just, no. Uh, again, just finger tight. There we go. How are we looking? Is that, is that feeling good? That's yeah, pretty secure. That feels good. Yeah, that's fine. All right, great. <coughs> you want to just uh, plug our cooler in, Frank? So it should just be up at this far end here. There we go. Actually, you know what? We'll wait until we've got the. Um, that's going to be a bit fiddly to Righto. Okay. So. What's next? I know that's what you were about to ask me, but what's next? Into the case. Into the case. You think? Oh, uh, we don't think we're going to put your case fans in. No. The GPU will go in afterwards because yeah. it's so massive. Yeah. Um, and the power supply is also separate. So yes, I think into the case. Into the case. Into the case. Look at you, making me doubt myself. <laughs> okay, well, right, I'm going to put that bit away. Yeah, would you mind? Uh, in fact, I'll probably... You won't need I won't need a bit. For the, uh, for this. Yeah. Might need a... Might need a medium. Medium bit, yeah. I'll put it on just in case. Right, okay, so... Warning, unscrew the rear thumb screw and lift up to remove top panel. Yeah, so I think we just need to take the top panel off first before anything else comes off. Right. So I think with that, we're gonna go back to long range mode. So one okay. moment, Franco. No problem. Can you, uh, 
um, make sure we're lined up. Yeah, a little bit, we've, we've got the edge of the light in at the moment, just come across a bit. There we go, that's perfect. All right, welcome back. It's good to be back. <laughs> okay, right. so uh, we can put this aside for the moment. Let's just have a little look at this case, shall we? I'm really excited about this case. Yeah, it's very neat. Very neat. Can I have a little look? Yeah, go for it. I'm going to be fiddling with the manual and of finding a fixings. Right, so I think we just pull this off. Yes, we do. What's this? Lift up and remove top panel first before removing glass. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Um, right. Would it, oh, why is it doing this thing? Get rid of this thing, it's really annoying. Okay. So, the thing I love about this, you know what? Oh, I want to be able to zoom in right now on this. <laughs> you, need need a, a, you need a rig upgrade. You need a radio control thing or a remote control. Or a long, so long stick. What we've got here, <coughs> if you can see, is we've got a mesh bottom and a glass top, right? And the glass top is obviously to show off the components, right? Um, but then what we've got on the other side is a glass top and a mesh bottom. So I think what you're going to want to do, Frank, is just have glass on one side. Yeah, I think that's right. I don't know which side we're going to do yet because we're going to have the graphics card along one side and then mm. we're going to have the motherboard on the other. The motherboard is not going to have like tons of lights on it. It's just going to have a it's got a little strip. But then again, it's we've got, got the, the RGB. Cooler. We've got the fan. Uh, sorry, we've got the RGB from the fan or the CPU cooler, but we've also got the RGB from the RAM. Mm. What well, you know what the the good thing about this case is we can decide which goes where. So you can have mesh on one and so just we when it's see. built, we'll just see which side looks coolest to display. And we'll just decide which side that is. I think that sounds perfect. Yeah. Right. Right. No, you don't. don't you know, manual. Come this on. is the, this is the two different build styles. Come right? on, Frank. Right. <laughs> well, we got to get the sides off, haven't we? The <coughs> whole the whole point of building a PC. Uh, well, okay. Right. Hang on. <laughs> if you're building a PC for a customer, then yes, right. You 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 want to look at the manual, get everything absolutely perfect. But we're building this PC for you. We're building it for fun. Let's just. This is true. Let's just explore. All right, let's, let's go. Let's just take a walk into the unknown. <laughs> let's take a walk. The two, the on two the faces wild of side. PC building. Yes. Cool. How, how do you feel about this? I, I don't want to. I'll, I'll get through it. Let's I don't want you to way. have any heart palpitations. <laughs> or anything, okay? No. I, I want you to I, be comfortable. I will live. Um, I will live. You'll live. Okay. So let's let's just give All it right. a go. Right. So. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a hammer because I think it's going to be ITX cases are generally quite difficult to build in. I, yeah, I mean it's the first time I've actually, aside from your little TV media player, it's the first time I've seen one, and this is a bit smaller than yours. That's right. Yeah. So I've also got a Lian Li ITX build that I use for my media player. For you know, I, essentially every every everything I watch on my TV mm. comes from that. I don't have any like terrestrial or sky or anything like that. I really just watch YouTube. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I just I have a sp I, have, I have a Lian Li case as well. I think it's the TU150. I can't remember if it's TU. It's T something 150, uh, and it's 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 a bit different to this. So it, it doesn't have. It's not a split chamber design. So mm. yours is split down the middle where the graphics card goes here and everything else goes on this side. Mine is a single side where everything you know the 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 back plate is here and then everything is on a single plain mm. uh it's also but that also means mine is a bit shorter but a bit wider yeah and and the one thing i do love about mine is it's got a case on a, a little handle that, on the top handy. so yeah. when i go to 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 lands at frank's house for uh <laughs> we'll be doing frank lan again hopefully yeah, soon yeah frank lan 2024 is gonna happen um uh just get my little itex build and hit, pull the handle and, and off i go just bring it over but this is gonna be just as easy because it's so small 
you can literally just lift it like this. Yeah. It's really lovely. Um, there's a few more bits on here that I, I want to show you guys. So um, I don't know if you can see Frank, but down here. Oh yeah. You can remo you can um, move. I think this here. You can mm. remove this. Uh, and if, you know what? I'm just going to do it. That that's good enough. mount your fan onto this huh the bottom fan and then just slot it in place that's great how cool is that it means you don't have to faff around with you know putting it all in and yeah. you know because uh, you'll have stuff in there with clearance issues really really nice touch i love little touches like that with cases the difference between a good case and just a, an average case is little touches like this mm. it's especially when it comes to a small case as well it's having these little touches that allow you to do things easier in a small build, but uh, you know, on, a, on, a, on an ATX build, a bigger tower PC, you, know, you still want those little touches as well that just make it so much easier for you to build in. So much more fun, so much more pleasurable. Mm. If you're just having to fight to get everything in there, it's like, <laughs> oh God, I hate doing this. And, no. uh, uh, it's gonna put you off, but little things like this uh, make it so much more fun and so much better to build in. And this is why I will always advocate spending a bit more on your case. Yes, you can get a case for forty pounds. Mm. You can. This was probably one hundred and fifty. Yeah. This was the single most expensive component in your entire build. It's going to be GPU. Worth it. Oh, sorry, the <laughs> GPU. Yeah. Okay, I did forget about that. The, the GPU is always the single most expensive part of the build, um, but. Uh, other than that, mm. so most people won't spend a lot on a case. I'm a big advocate of spending on the case because it just means it's a pleasurable place for you to build in. And mm. when you go to refresh your, your PC after five years, right? Uh, so let's say you want to upgrade the GPU, you want to upgrade the CPU, the motherboard, the RAM, you know, a whole platform upgrade. If you spent a bit of extra money on your case and it's still a great case, it's still in good condition, you can just reuse it. Yeah, ten years. I I Easy. used I I have I used a Lian Lee case before the one I've got now. I bought my last case what three years ago, mm. two years. Yeah, ago? something like that. It was it was COVID summer, the twenty twenty. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it was the summer of twenty twenty, uh, and I, I I I bought my new Lian Lee case, which is the V three thousand, which is an amazing case. I'm quite jealous that there's a V three thousand plus <laughs> now, but whatever. Um, before that, I had my old Lian Lee case. 15 years yeah. maybe 13 years I don't know it's worth it it really <laughs> is and did I tell you that the 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 choice of cases that you'll have at gamertech.org unparalleled pretty big from over here <laughs> uh, I believe at the moment we have something like 200 cases to choose from wow Fair enough. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Not only because our customers will then be able to build, uh, uh, will have a PC, will have so much choice of what their PC goes in, because the thing with, I'm just, I'm just gushing about cases now, aren't I? <laughs> the thing about cases, it's the only part of the build that's really personal mm. to you, right? It, yeah, there's different looking GPUs, there's different looking RAM, some light up, some don't, big whoop, right? But there's no there's no real way to personalize it. But with cases, there's so many different cases with so many different types, so many different sizes, mm. so many different uh, materials. Do you have glass? Do you have mesh? Do you have fans at the front? Do you have fans at the top? Fans at the back? Do you, do you have the motherboard? You know, you can get some cases where you can build two PCs inside a case frame. That's awesome. You can have a an ATX build, and then on the other side. You can have a little ITX, like one wow. of these, what we've got, a little ITX build there. Two PCs, so you know, for streaming, for instance. I see. I love cases. Clearly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm so thrilled to, to offer what uh, I believe, I'm almost certain, is gonna be the widest range of cases, and every other component, by the way. We're, we're starting off with about 1,500 components that people can choose from. That's pretty massive. We're talking, <laughs> uh, I can't remember the numbers, but we, you know, we divide 1,500 by the amount of components you have on a PC. What's that, eight, seven? Yeah. Uh, can you do that kind of math, Frank? Call it 10, 10. 150. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy maths. Yeah, 
about 150. There's a reason I'm not the company accountant. Yes. Um, uh, so, yeah, you, we're going to have, you know, 100 plus of every component to choose from. Yeah. But the beauty will be, if you know what you want, you can use the expert mode to go mm. and find it all. If you don't know what you want, you can just keep it out of expert mode and just allow our configurator to give you the best options. We'll give you the recommended options. So if you're a bit unsure... A bit guidance. Yeah, exactly. And if you need even more guidance, down at the bottom left of our website and down at the bottom right, you'll have a book video consultation where you can put a, a, a Zoom call or a Teams call in my diary to have a video call with me to go over your build and we'll help, I'll help you build it. Or you can do a little chat thing, you know, like... A little online chat. A little, little online chat. Uh, and we'll do the same. It means you don't have to, you know, use video if you're not comfortable doing that. But uh, we'll help you. We'll help you build. Anyway, sorry. What more can you want? Yeah, what more can you want? <laughs> i uh, tell you what more you could want is this little magnetic access here for what I believe is the RGB. So we're going to be using this quite a lot. It's um, the RGB and it's the PWM as well. So that's all uh, of our fans are going to connect to that. Okay. I say all of our fans. There's only three, but... Uh, that's, that's plenty for an that, RTX. That is a great little bit of sort of quality of life innovation there. Just Don't forget to show it to the camera, Frank. Yeah. There we go. Just a little magnet flap at the back. So more and more now, cases are coming with little controllers, little uh, fan controllers built into the case. And that is oh, an absolute godsend. Mm -hmm. When I built mine... My case was 400 quid, I didn't have one. I had to search <laughs> high and low. But I mean, you, you, know, you can see it here now. Mm. My case has uh, three, six, nine, ten 10 fans in it. Uh, could I fan, find a controller that fits 10 fans? Oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry sir, no such thing exists. Uh, so yeah, it was very difficult. Um, thankfully, Cases these days, they'll if, if you've got a case, if, if you're buying a case these days that has space for 10 fans, mm. it should have a controller in that allows you to connect 10 fans. Oh, perfect. One of the best things ever in case. <laughs> right. So, let's, uh, let's begin, shall we? Yeah. So, first things first, we probably want to just get the motherboard in. So, uh, you want, let's take off the side panels, Frank. Right. I guess so we'll find out how that happens. I believe they just open and then they just kind of... Ah, I see. Can, can, you, can you shimmy it to the side? There we Ooh, go. Certainly can. So you probably want to just put those aside. Yeah. Same with the uh, the mesh. That's really nicely designed. You know what we need? We need a camera person. <laughs> 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 Gemma, we need you. <laughs> No, I can even do it facing away from it. You're getting good at this, Frank. <laughs> I am a little disappointed that the riser cable is black in the white case. Yeah, well, you know, you can get PCI. You can replace that if you yeah. want. Uh, riser cables are quite expensive. I'd say a, a good PCI Gen 4 riser cable is probably 40 or 50 pounds even. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that they didn't supply a white one, but... I kind of get it, uh, you know, they, they only have so many white cases and they have, they supply these in the black cases as well, so it means yeah. having, you know, different colours. It, it makes sense, and also it's worth bearing in mind that it will be sandwiched between the GPU and the motherboard, right? So That's true, you know what, we so might not, not even, even see, gonna it. see it, we yeah. might not see it, so let's let's just see how it goes, and then if it appear, if it feels like we do need it, then we can... Yeah. We'd look at getting we you can, in we, a, a we can one, tweak right? the build if we right. need to. So, find out where our motherboard goes. I'm sure you can see that here. Right there. That's in this space. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, <clears throat> now, there's one little tip. Uh, one little secret about this motherboard installation. Right. Um, that is quite fun uh, and isn't a usual thing. Can you notice anything about it? Being that this is the front and um, well yes the, the motherboards at the at the back motherboards at the back which yeah. means it's what rear engine upside down oh oh right <laughs> because if you they usually put oh, yeah. the motherboard in like like so yeah uh, ah. 
to go to the front. That's kind of fun. Uh, oh, God, okay. I'm, get, I'm getting confused with which way I'm facing. <laughs> uh, like, so, then... Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. with the writing on the If it has sockets. to go to the back, it goes upside down. Huh. All right. Yeah, well, you know, I found that quite interesting. So. Very cool. Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm going to peel this little protective film off because I've been staring at it for the last hour. Right, so... I'm going to let you get on with that. Okay. And in the meantime, I thought we could have a little bit of a chat about some other things. Sounds good, dude. Yeah. So, um, uh, anyone still watching the stream, firstly, thank you. Really appreciate it. I know this isn't the most exciting thing to watch, but uh, uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. So, thank you. Um, Frank, so, c this build is for your girlfriend, right? It is. Yeah. So, how? What? Okay. How do I? How do I phrase this? Your <laughs> girlfriend plays some games. She does. Right. She does play um, some games. I think those games are what? Um, zoo. Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo is 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 the is the primary one. And there was she, another one. She has been known to play The Sims in her time. Okay. Yeah. Um, it sort of feels a little bit horribly stereotypical, but it is what it is. Don't worry about that for the moment. Okay. Just make sure it's on. on um, top. And yeah, of, of late also Hogwarts Legacy. So I found out recently she's a big Harry Potter fan. Oh, cool. Uh, and well, I figured I would, I would indulge that. So that is now, <coughs> that's now doing the rounds. <laughs> so um. what's your opinion, Jane, generally on gaming with partners? So as a gamer yourself, uh, what's your stance on gaming with your partner? Is it something that you want to do together? Is it perhaps a hobby that you like to have separately so that you have some time to do your thing which you enjoy? Uh, and you know, your partner can go off and do their things that they enjoy? Yeah. Uh, what's, what, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I'm building her a PC, so it's kind of, it's kind of safe to say I, I enjoy the fact that she's a gamer. Um, Very cool. And you know, we haven't really kind of ventured into the co-op realm yet. But what I have been appreciating is the kind of together apart uh, scenario that, that, that gaming can that, that gaming together can bring you. So you know we'll be sat on the sofa, and uh, one of us will be on the PC, and maybe maybe the other one on the PlayStation, as we don't have two PCs in the house at the time. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so I, I I appreciate the fact that you know we can each be pursuing our own. Uh, our own goals and and, re and relaxing uh, mm -hmm. but also it's really nice to just kind of watch the other person play you know it's like watching a stream watching in real life yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the one uh, the one thing that we do severely disagree on um, when using a controller no, no no it's not so much your thing is that I play inverted and she what she doesn't play inverted yeah are you effing kidding me? What kind of <laughs> mentalist? Like, hang on a minute. Like we, there's, we need to use specific screws here. So let me just sort out the ones that we need. Yeah. So it should be four of these. Uh, yeah. So that causes some that causes some friction, having to having to switch a switch our uh, control setup every time we pass the control over. But we, you know, I think we'll survive that. Just make sure those fit fine, Frank. Um, be careful when putting those in. You don't you don't want to thread these because mm. we're on a we're we're screwing into standoffs here. So uh, if we thread them, we're kind of out of luck. So just get them in nice and gently. There we go. So um, okay. Yeah, so you're for it then. You I I am a hundred percent for couples gaming. I think I think it's. You know, my my partner lives in another country, so you know we we are in a long distance relationship for the time being. And what gaming does for us is really nice because it it's time that we take out of the out of the day mm. to just do something that's purely for fun and it's just specific time, isn't it? Yeah. Just it when when you're not constantly trying to grasp for every possible second that you have together. It, it can make the time feel a lot longer. You know, sometimes the joy of doing something together is doing nothing at all. Or, yeah. or, or, just, or just doing something purely for game. fun. Yeah. yeah. No, I get that. Uh, I, I really 
I really like it too. So I, I too um, have a girlfriend, uh, Gemma, who is actually part of this game tech, this business, Gamer Tech. She she does our books. She's uh, an experienced bookmaker. Book no wait, book, bookmaker. Bookmaker. That's not what she is. Uh, book cooker. Is yeah. that is that it? I think. No, no I think probably the, not that either. I think the implication that you're cooking <laughs> books is not a legal one. Yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, Gem, I would, Gem is not a gamer. She is not a gamer. Now, I, she did used to play some games with her bro when she was younger. I know mm-hmm. that. Uh, and uh, um, oh, what was the one that she showed me the other She showed me one the other day uh, that I thought looked like Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Um, but it was something Alex about... Alex Kidd, I haven't heard um, that for a long time. Something about punching. It had the name punch in it. Pu- not punch out. No. I can't remember. Gem, if you're watching, can you tell me what that game was? But anyway, Gem is not a big gamer now. She's much more of an outdoor person. But um, uh, we do play the occasional game of Fall Guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this was this was the gateway. The this gateway the game. <laughs> yes. So uh, she played her first game of Fall Guys uh, when I um, we got uh, her little girl in the... Uh, uh, Nintendo Switch ah, and I nice. said hey have a look at this it's real fun so we played some Fall Guys and she enjoyed it and Indy enjoyed it as well but I don't think Jen will ever be a gamer mm. so whilst I think I share your enthusiasm with your getting your partners to play gaming uh, to play games um, I think for me it's definitely going to be something that we do mostly separately well at least that, that I mean that I do separately Yeah, she's just not interested in that area really so I think it can go both ways for you know for anyone, right? I mean, um, okay. Here's a question for you: if uh, if you have a girlfriend, or if you're a girl and you have a boyfriend, <coughs> or God, I mean, sorry, modern times. If you're a girl that's got a girlfriend, or a boy that's got a boyfriend, or uh, all of the other combinations as well, um, uh, how would you go about getting your partner involved in gaming? I think you've got to find something that is that speaks to them, you know. Uh, if they're into animals, it might be something like Zoo Planet or Viva Pinata. Uh, you know, if they like their murder mystery kind of documentaries, it, it might you. be it might be a Sherlock Holmes game or, you know, a point and click adventure or something like that. So it's just I think it's a I think it's a know your audience moment, really. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right there, Frank. Um you know, I've had some success in, in the past with, with, with other partners, but it's never really stuck. And I think ultimately, you know, uh, my partner has, was already a gamer when I met her. And I, 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 I think that's the ultimate win. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's no question that I'm, I'm certainly... Uh, inc- in- yeah, yep. fine. Okay. I'm certainly encouraging the situation by, you know, providing him with a gaming PC. Yes. Right, um, so now we're going to get the PSU into place. All oh right, this thing's tiny. I know, that's what she said. <laughs> so this is a uh, SP, SFX? SFX, yes. PSU? So SFX PSU, which is wow. um, basically for ITX builds. Yeah. Uh, so some ITX cases will allow a um, ATX PSU. Mm. And in fact, this one does. Uh, there's a, a, a bracket that you saw earlier yeah, yeah, that allows you to put a full-size power supply in here. But by doing that, we wouldn't then be able to fit the fans at the top. So sure. we will use these. Uh, small form factor or SFX um, PSUs, a bit, small, a bit more expensive because, you know, you're putting all the same power you're paying in a for small, the smaller place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so a bit more expensive, but it allows you to have a bit more space inside. Oh, your, uh, I really uh, like it. <laughs> I really it's, like it. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. Very nice. So this will just fit into this little bay? Yeah. Oh, and no, I see we've got a little, we have a power, so we have a power cable here. So uh, with a right angle. What you want to find on it. is so you've got some mounting screws, yeah, here, uh, mounting holes here, uh-huh. right? You want to find that that's those, yeah. You want to find where on the case those mounting holes are, and I believe I can see them. Oh, there's only two up here, Frank. Two? No. One. Oh no! Ah, they're like the no, mesh. You, there's yeah, yeah, there's you, yeah, there's it. six of them. Six of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's interesting. Yeah. 
I almost got it. I have almost got it. This, <laughs> this, is, this is like the start no. of 2001 when the, almost. when the chimps are like... Almost. Yes! Hitting their tools on things. Well done, Frank. Wow, okay. So the, their clearances on this are very, very fine. You are a PC builder. Uh, so we're going to have to move this cable then because it actually should go in up there. Uh, if it's going to be this way up. Yeah, so look. Um, Let's just have a little look here. Uh, so this, it definitely goes in like... Interesting. Like so. Yeah. But I believe it should just slot in like this. Wow, that's really neat. Uh, and then this... Yeah, so this is these are just tied on for the moment because... I see, just like to keep so. things out of the way. So just... I gotcha. Undo those and uh, get it all... We need a little overhead cam, don't we? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we'll we'll get there. One right. step at a time. One step at a time. Uh, step one, website. Mm. Step two. Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> step three, profit. Profit, always. Yeah. That's basically my business plan. I mean, yeah. I think it's pretty sound. I haven't. I certainly don't have any arguments. Step four, overhead camera. Yeah. yeah, I think that's it. That's, that is step four, isn't it? So that's not quite flush. There we go. You should be able to that's it. nice. That's so you've got those screws there. That's it. Yeah. And you probably want to put the. I just want to put four the in. Bigger bit. Don't I? Now. I did. I did. You should have just have four screws. Yeah. Yeah. Grand. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to have to turn this a little bit. So Frank, what games are you playing at the moment? Um, at the moment, I have just started uh, a playthrough of Fear and Hunger, which is a really interesting game. Not That's not a very interesting. Not game. very not not sort of my usual fare. Um, very kind of exploratory. Um, it's not your typical RPG. I think it's fair to say. I is it, or is it even an RPG, an RPG at all? At all, yeah. I think. Um, so, uh, just to give some background, um, uh, I, I've, I've been, we're playing this together, well, mm. uh, uh, more accurately, I'm watching Frank play it, which sounds a bit weird, but I promise it's not. Um, basically, I, I learnt about this game by watching my YouTube hero, Super Eye Patch Wolf. He's the wrong size. Who, um, who you can see I'm <laughs> quite a fan of. Uh, those are, the, no, no, those are for the power supply, so they must be. Are you sure? I'm relatively sure. Relatively sure. What are we saying? <coughs> no? We're good? We're good. We're good. All right. Duly noted. Continue. So, uh, yes, I have been watching hours and hours of Super Eye Patch Wolf playing Fear and Hunger, <laughs> and I immediately thought, you know what? This is a game that we can play together, right? Or this is a game I think we will both enjoy. So I got, I got Frank a copy, uh, and we played. We and Frank's playing, and we did a first playthrough the other day, didn't we? I think we're going to do it. The first twenty or thirty deaths. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got about twenty minutes of game time. But we were playing for about six hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're not very good at this game. Uh, but I don't think I you can be by definition. No. Uh, Unless you watch a complete playthrough and learn everything about the game beforehand, uh, with a specific view to instructing you on how to play it. Yeah. I think the you're going to die. The a lot. Uh, from what I can tell, the uh, the. The currency, and not the in-game currency, but the the thing that you need to improve about the game in order to improve at the game mm. is just your understanding of the game. The more you play, the more you 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 know you you'll know where things are on the map. The more you'll know what kind of items do what things, and it's just how you can use them. It, it really is a, a a very interesting game. It's yeah, I I I would say it's very singular. Yes. Aside from the fact they've just made a sequel. Yes, I don't think there's <laughs> anything quite like it. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to watching you play some more of that. 
That's uh, good. I've chosen not to play, just to watch paint, because I've seen a lot of it being played by Super Dry Patchwork, so um, I'm really excited to watch Frank <laughs> muddle through it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a fair that's a fair assessment of what I'm doing. Yeah. What, what else? Um, we, we play some other games together. We played play, a little um, PUBG last night. We played some PUBG last night. We're yeah. not very good at PUBG. No. That's, that's, that's a hard game. It's also uh, a fair assessment of our skills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, I think we're in the... Uh, uh, bottom 1% of all PUBG <laughs> players. Uh, we play some TFT. Little TFT too, yeah. Yeah, which is a a, like a battle, uh, auto battler game inside League of Legends. Uh, if anyone hasn't played that, it's super fun. It's a good one. I'm a bit of a lapsed player, but the new set is actually quite fun. Yeah. yeah I so. Both you and Alex have been telling me that, so I did enjoy, I did enjoy our games. Hold on there, Frank. No drama. Right. Anything else? Uh, well, I pretty much my go-to for the last six months has been Crab Champions. Crab Champions. Yeah. <laughs> you are a Crab Champions nut. Yeah, I do love it. It is, it is a good it's time. It's fiendishly simple yeah. and quite fun. And fiendishly difficult as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those games where it's very easy to learn, but very difficult to master. Mm, yeah. Although Alex has got me beat on that as well. He's, really? he's pretty much, he's, he's done, I think, everything you can do uh, in that game now, which is wow. just kind of crazy. All right, I think we've got the PSU mounted. Okay. So what we probably want to do now is, is have a look at how we're going to run some of these hard to reach cables, or not yeah. cables, but the, some of the cables are going to be hard to reach the motherboard. I've just realised something uh, in relation to what you said about the fan before. Yeah. The fact that you can remove this, that it's just great for plugging all of the cords into the bottom of the power supply. That's true. where all the sockets true, true. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's definitely. great. And, and actually, uh, while I was 